Hey everyone, it's time for your Tuesday Daily Trekker Update. I'm Isela Rios. And I'm Carlin Stafford. We have a lot of news to cover today, including the reason you'll want to get those truck orders in now, not later, why a truck-only bridge in Alabama is getting pushed back from drivers, and find out what was found hiding in a truck full of spinach. So let's get trekking. If you're looking to order a Class 8 truck in 2021, you better get it in now because the number of orders for new rigs is outpacing how quickly they can be built. In February, more than 15,000 trucks were sold in the U.S. That's down more than 8% from January, but the number of orders for trucks totaled 43,800. That's up more than 200% from the same time last year. And as of March, the backlog of trucks that still need to be built is 228,000. The biggest reason for the backup? Parts, specifically steel and semiconductors, also known as chips, which are currently in short supply around the world. Navistar International is offering one free year factory backed up warranty for engine and after treatments on used International LT Series or International RH Series. The offer includes trucks from any international dealer, international used truck center, any non-international dealer or independent seller, including fleet sell resellers and auctions. To be eligible, the vehicle must be model year 2018 or newer LT or RH series, delivered to end user by December 31st of 2021, must have less than 550,000 miles, 475 horsepower or less, a clean health report provided by an international dealer, preventative maintenance or DOT inspection completed within the last 12 months. I mean, clean title, retail sale in the U.S., completed warranty registration within 15 days of purchase. That's a lot of stuff. It, it, it is a lot of requirements, <laughs> but you know, it is nice that you could buy that and still have it under warranty, even if you buy it from a fleet resale or an auction or something like that, as long as it's, of course, qualified. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's that simple. <laughs> right? It's that simple. Well, a plan has been unveiled for a toll bridge meant for just 18 wheelers in Alabama. The proposal is for an I-10 toll bridge over the Mobile River. The bridge, uh, mobile, my bad, mobile, mobile, you know, it, it's spelled different ways, but it's all said different ways too. Well, the bridge would be meant only for trucks. It would also expand the bayway to three lanes east and westbound using the, extension, or the existing shoulders as lanes. Proponents say the new bridge would remove large trucks from the Wallace Tunnel, which they say would increase traffic flow by 40% and would decrease delays by more than an hour. However, truck drivers are opposed to the plan, saying cars should pay the toll as well, and the proposed toll would cost anywhere from $10 to $15 each way. Now, the proposal is still in the planning phase, but if approved, construction would begin in 2022 and could take up to four years to complete. Frito-Lay has completed the transformation of a, of a facility in California to a zero emission and near zero emission site for production and transport. The company replaced all of the diesel vehicles at the at the uh, Modesto site using now 12 electric forklifts, three by BYD yard trucks, and six 20 EV Peterbilt box trucks to distribute products to local retailers. A fleet of 38 Volvo VNL natural gas rigs do the larger local and regional hauls. The company is also expected to receive a shipment for 15 electric Tesla trucks later this year. PepsiCo. The parent company of Frito-Lay plans to completely be zero emission by 2040. You know, they're not the only company that's kind of made that promise. So I'm, I got a feeling we'll start seeing a lot more companies say, hey, we've turned this plant into zero emission or z near zero emission. So a lot of this will probably start happening in the near future. Yeah, it's interesting it to see. It is definitely interesting to see. I don't know if I'm that ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've all heard about hiding leafy greens and other foods, so picky eaters will eat them. You know, smothering them in cheese or chopping them up easily to hide them. But it's not often we hear about hiding things in leafy greens. But that's what happened at the Ote Mesa, California-Mexico border. According to the Customs and Border Protection, more than $1 million worth of methamphetamine was discovered hidden in a shipment of fresh spinach. They were wrapped in paper and labeled with pictures of spinach. You know, that's not suspicious at all. The truck, trailer, and narcotics were seized, and the driver was arrested. He is expected to face federal charges. Actor and musician John Schneider, known for Dukes of Hazard and Smallville, is releasing a new album, Truck On, this week. A portion of the proceeds will benefit the Saints Christopher Relief Fund. You can hear one of the songs on the album, Born at a Truck Stop, on YouTube right now. So get ready for the album's release. You know, I've seen a couple of interviews with him where he talks about how honestly, thanks to truckers is pretty much the only reason that we've survived this pandemic and the work that they continue to but do. But he's not lying. He's not lying. Exactly. I, I mean, I'm going to agree with him on that one. <laughs> well, that does it for today's update. Tune in tomorrow for all that trucking news you need.